these questions you need to know that these are the typical questions that you should expect in a in your June control test. Okay? And I'm gonna give you more questions in the next coming days. Right, so the first question is just uh, testing your knowledge of trigonometric ratios. So according to this uh, this angle here, that's angle R, and this is angle Q, and the 90 degree angle is equal to it's equal to P. So the, the first question says, use the sketch to determine the ratio of tan 90 degrees minus R. Alright, now I hope that you are aware that if this angle here is 90 and you know the size of that angle, if you add angle R and angle Q, you, you will get 90 degrees. So, angle Q plus angle R will give you 90 degrees. Therefore, angle Q will be equal to 90 degrees minus angle R, which means our reference angle is going to be angle Q. So this 90 minus R is equivalent to angle Q. Therefore, this side here, PR, will be the opposite side. Obviously, QR will be the hypotenuse, and PQ will be the adjacent side. So for 3.1.1, find 90 degrees minus R, which is the same as Q. It's going to be equal to the opposite side over the adjacent, and our opposite side is going to be PR, and the, the adjacent is going to be PQ. So this will be your answer there. Okay, so the trick was being aware that 90 degrees minus R will give you angle Q. Then 3.1.2, write down the trigonometric ratio that is equal to QR over QP. Okay, so QR, QR is this one here. So if that's a hypotenuse, okay, as long as QR is a hypotenuse means you are talking about reciprocals. Because remember the formula of the reciprocals has got the hypotenuse as the numerator. So because QR is our hypotenuse here, it means that we are talking about reciprocal. Then QP, QP is going to be this length here, okay? Which, based on our triangle, if our reference angle is, is Q, it means that that ratio is going to be, is going to be, uh, okay, well, among the reciprocals, we know that cosec theta is hypotenuse over, over opposite. Sec theta is hypotenuse over adjacent, and cot theta is adjacent over opposite. So here, if, if QP is my adjacent side, okay, it means our ratio for 3.1, Two, it will be sec, in this case it will be sec Q, okay, sec Q. So it will be sec Q because based on this time that I have here, I have got my adjacent side and my opposite side using uh, of the reference angle which is equal to Q. So this theta here in the general formula is going to be equal to Q. So this will be your answer here. Okay? If say you chose R as your uh, as your reference angle, it means that this side becomes the opposite side and that will be the adjacent side. Since it's going to become the opposite side, it means sec Q is also equal to cosec R. So there are two answers. Either you must have 
cosec q or you must have cosec r or rather yes you must also have cosec r because cosec uh, because cosec is the reciprocal of of sine so if the reference angle is that means qp becomes the opposite side the hypotenuse does not change okay so you end up having uh, this one here so there are two answers there either if you wrote sec q or cosec r either of the two will give you the same result all right any question there Okay, if you don't have a question, then let's carry on. All right, then question four, four in this case, 4.1. Right, you can read all the stories there. Right, the length of sides are given when there's only one angle which is given that A, uh, that would be uh, B A C, which is 30 degrees. So to find the length of A C, that is from here to there, we have to use triangle A B C. So first thing we write in triangle, this is 4.1.2, in triangle A B C, right? If this is our reference angle, it means this will be the opposite side, A C will be the hypotenuse, and that will be the adjacent side. So we want to calculate AC, which is a hypotenuse. And we know the opposite side, so it will be sine, sine 30 degrees will be equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So that will be sine 30 degrees equal to the opposite side, which is 20, over the hypotenuse, which is AC. Then, from here, we just swap this interchange the position of sine and AC so that will give you AC equal to 20 over sine 30 degrees now I know from experience that sine 30 is a half so the final answer for AC is going to be 40 units ok so that will be the answer for uh, for 4.1.1 so AC we're going to be 40 units then CAD that's an angle now which will be this one here that whole angle CAD ok before I carry on this then but we have any question with regard to 4.1.1 no sir Yes. Any question? Is there anybody else with any question? No, sir. All right. Okay, so let's carry on then. Alright, then to find the size of angle, uh, well, CAD, we have to use triangle ACD. Okay, the good thing is we now know the length of AC. We know it's equal to 40 units, so this is 40. So I'll say this is 4.1 uh, 4 .1 in triangle A, C, D, right? Now, in that triangle, with reference to C, A, D, that's my reference angle, so C, D will be my opposite side, and A, D will be my hypotenuse, and A, C will be my adjacent side. So, I have a hypotenuse, and 
I also have an adjacent side, so I must use cos there. So it will be cos CAD, it will be equal to, well, in this case, I can write my answer. Okay, I can write this adjacent over hypotenuse, which is equal to 40 over 60. Okay, which I can say cos C A D Okay, just allow me Right, so for, for the size of C A D you should, should get 47,93 Right Then let's find the length of DE. Now DE, the length from here, okay, DE is the length from, Sir? Yes? From here to there. Yes? I think for uh, the, the answer is 48.19. For 4.1.2? Yes, sir. I think it's 48.19. Okay. Let me. So it will be shift. Right, shift cos a fraction option, then two, two over three, so let me put it as two divided by three and close the bracket. So it's supposed to be 48,12. Okay, 48,12. So this answer is supposed to be 48,12. So 19 is 48.19. 48,19. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I think forty eight comma one nine, yes. Forty eight comma one nine, yes. All right. Okay, thank you very much for that. Right, so let's move on to calculate the length of uh, DE. So to calculate DE, we are going to need the, the length, or rather, we need. To use triangle A D E. Okay, you need to use triangle A D E. Now it's very important for you to be aware that this whole angle here is equal to 90 degrees. So we know the size of C A D, we know the size of angle A, so we have to calculate the size of, of uh, D A E. Okay, so I'll start by saying in triangle, well, let me not try to say triangle. Let me calculate DAE. So I'll say DAE is equal to 90 degrees minus 30 degrees plus 48,19. So that will give me 90 degrees minus 78,19. And that will give me. Uh, 11,81 degrees. Okay, so that's the size of DAE. So I now know the size of DAE, which is that A. Then, since I know the length of AD, I can use it to calculate the length of GE. And with reference to this angle, this will be my opposite side. Obviously, that will be my hypotenuse, and this will be my adjacent side. 
So I have to use tan red. So it will be tan of DAE. It will be equal to the opposite over the adjacent. And that will be equal to, in this case, my opposite side is DE. My adjacent side is going to be 60. Okay? So that will be tan of 11,81 degrees is equal to DE over 60. What this means is that DE will be equal to 60 times times tan 11,81 degrees. So then I bring my calculator. Okay. So that will be uh, 60 times tan 11. Okay, so we get 12,55 units. So that would be 12,55 units. Okay, so that, that's what you're supposed to, to get. There.